Like a no, I like flop on my head. Yeah, no, it's okay. I know I'm just gonna use them anyway. Right, should we start? Hi guys! Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're here today in Manila, in Spain, with a gorgeous, gorgeous gin and tonic with lemon, lime, and cucumber. It's pretty good. Mm. We thought we would get ready with you and uh, maybe do a little bit of a set or shot it. Although we're not gonna do proper shots, we're just gonna do like say it or sip it. Yeah, it drinks. is my eighth day of drinking, so I feel like I yeah. won't survive that. I also did wake up in the hospital two days yeah. ago. <laughs> and we have to drink for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to go to a beach club. Um, I've never been to a beach club before. You've never been to any? Ever. That's crazy. I didn't think. I was going to say, should we show the view? But then you'll not be able to get the camera set up again. Yeah, it's it just took me 10 minutes to get this camera set up, so I'll show you the view after. Okay. Everyone else is already there as well. And we're just yeah, there. it's we were meant to be there 30 minutes ago, and we've just started getting ready now. Yeah. Usual. Oh, well. I'd rather be sweating than be yeah. on time. <laughs> they all look for losers, to be fair, so it doesn't really matter. Do you need a mirror? Oh, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I've been drinking for eight days in a row. Oh. Your body's, like, thriving. No, my brain is broken. <laughs> I I get really bad breakouts on my neck when I when I drink. Like my face at the minute is completely fine, but I've literally got like big sore spots on my neck. Mm. Really bad. They're not and that I put bad. put so much spot cream on them and they're just not going away. Your face skin is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, so we went out. We were in Morbea for one day. Are you telling the? Just saying a little taster. Okay. The, the very classic, you know, Irish British uh, thing to do when you go on holiday and you get absolutely paralytic on the first day. I, ju I genuinely have never been on holiday and not fucked up on the first night. Yeah, I'm sure you, if you're talking about it in the podcast, I'll not say too much, but it was very, 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 very bad. And then, yeah, since then we've been kind of consistently dying. <laughs> yeah, I think I slept for 16 hours the night, so. Yeah, Emma missed my, Emma's not met my parents before and she missed my parents. Um, Arriving. <laughs> Arriving. I'm going out for dinner. We all went out for dinner. Like I, I slept for the whole brush, day. by the way, but if you're using it Okay, first. let me just quickly use it. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I'll just tell the rest of the story. Emma, like, slept. No! Like, no, 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 oh, no, no, sorry. no, 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 literally i'm not even joking maybe 14 hours while we were all out for and i like forced myself to drink again because my sister was like oh i really want to go out i really want to go out so i was like okay i'm really bad at saying no so i um forced myself to drink and then at some point she was just like oh i'm just gonna go to bed your sister penny uh, oh. yeah yeah i was really sad getting into bed about that to be honest um it didn't literally wake up at all she was stone cold out let's do a question some of them were really funny when i was looking at them earlier okay we'll start off with an easy one well when i say what's your body count i'm gonna drink oh my that. god emma i don't even know do i have to be honest <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna drink mm. yeah me too to be honest the internet doesn't need to know that yeah my parents now know what emma does and i'm really scared that my mom's gonna look up <laughs> this video or something <laughs> the internet doesn't need to know that no one needs to know that no not even i don't even know that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't even that's actually none of my business <laughs> no it's not so do you guys want to see what's in my makeup bag did you not find your foundation brush i did but yours is better are you serious yeah get ready no yours is better i want to use it oh my god it will not take me that long well my eyebrow brush is from the floor. This is from the floor. This is my <laughs> eyebrow brush. Influencing queen. <laughs> if anybody wants to get it, you can't. It's exclusive, so. <laughs> it's exclusive to the girl. <laughs> to the floor in my house at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll brush my eye. No, I'm just sweating already. Yeah, why is it so warm? And also the thing that I'm wearing today is knitted. It's knitted and long sleeve. I was gonna wear a knitted and long sleeve thing, but I'm not anymore. Cause, and it was black. I've been way too hot. Yeah. You're gonna be wet too long. Yeah, and otherwise. Yeah. You go, Dolly. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna do another question. Have you ever developed feelings for a friend's boyfriend? No, no. never. For the sole reason that I just have a very different type to every single one of my friends. My thing is, is like, I would say, well, in my opinion, I'm like loyal to a fault where like, I can't not. There's just something about like relationships and like friendships that I just can't 
like even that like it's so unnatural to yeah, me yeah. for something like that to happen do yeah. you know what i mean i've definitely found like my friends boyfriends attractive do you know what yeah, i mean yeah but not develop feelings for them no but like attractive and like almost like um a subjective oh, they're way. cute. Like, I'm happy that they're together. They're together. Yeah, exactly. But I've never been like, oh, I want a bit of that. Yeah. Fancy about three people in my life, so I feel like I'd be doing pretty well. <laughs> Fancy someone's boyfriend. <laughs> also, I know that my foundation doesn't match my neck, so please don't really talk about it. Okay, next one. What was your biggest regret last year? Are you done with that? What was my biggest? Let's see questions that you have to think about. Not great for me today. I am a huge believer in like, no I just feel like I'm very, no I'm very happy and content with where I am right now and like that wouldn't be the case if, if anything was different that wouldn't I, I know, wouldn't I here. completely agree with that, I, I think I say that quite a lot There are, like, there's, I think there's a difference between mistakes and regrets so like, there's yeah. things that like we Like I could, de I can definitely say I shouldn't have kept going back in my last relationship yeah but also that's taught me a huge lesson yeah and like i wouldn't have learned that lesson and i wouldn't you wouldn't have any content <laughs> <laughs> if i if that wasn't the case you know also i could i really think i should have made more of an effort to socialize just in general when i was in Leeds. but also at the same time that did benefit me in other ways yeah because i was 100%. working and like yeah I don't know. That's I think say. yeah. I think the problem is like in Leeds as well. It's like when you say socialize, the only thing that you mean is really drinking. Do you know what I mean? I know, and that would have just like put me in the pit to get through that year, and also to come out of uni with like what I did. I wouldn't have been able to have Slide done it, it any other way. Slide it for real. So no, no regrets. Yeah, to be honest, I that is normally what I say whenever people ask me if I regret anything. That I just don't have regrets. There's a lot of periods of my life that like I I'm say, yeah. <laughs> most of them to be honest right now I feel. um but i don't know i just i feel like if i if i was a person that like had a lot of regrets i would just be bitter all the time yeah do you know what i mean because of the way things happen yeah but yeah we're vibing is it bad that like i want to drink anyway i know i was thinking that we need a question now that we need to drink yeah for. Just are you waiting on this yeah just no i'm just enjoying the view I just have one last thing to blend out and then I'm really I'm in a rush, it doesn't take it. me that long to do my makeup And I watch me sweat this all off in literally like two minutes when we get there God, It's like when you're sweating at the same time as putting makeup on You know you're just patting in your sweat into your face So nice Oh I have a really good setting spray actually We can douse ourselves in it What is it? It's the Morphe one. Oh, this is a good one I'm so freckly at the minute Actually it's not even a good one but it's very <laughs> very obvious answer <laughs> it's actually the most obvious this answer is a really ever good one. would you rather marry the first person you slept with or the last person you slept with last obviously no first are you obviously last yeah last well my last is my boyfriend yeah <laughs> no further comments for literally Robin. i just have nothing else to say <laughs> Would, no, this sounds funny. Would you rather get back with your ex or date Stop it. each other's ex? Oh my god. <laughs> that was really mean for me to do that. Uh, uh, get back with my ex. But like, it could be any of my exes. Wait, that's so funny for- the answer for you as well is so funny. I'm gonna drink because I would, wouldn't do it either. I mean- I'm not getting back with any of my exes. Why is this pink one. today? I don't know if that is bright pink. Weird. And my ex is her best friend. Yeah. So, so that's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink. I really think you and Ted would be really good together. <laughs> that makes me actually feel a bit sick. <laughs> I don't know any of your other exes. You and I know the one. You do. Oh my word. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Can I have both? Both exes? No, can I have the one that we were thinking of and mine? Oh, you gotta go for it. Perfect trio. I've always been in love with him. Okay. Love that trio. Really. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting way too much on. Okay. I'm gonna regret it when I'm sweating it off. Regret? Oh, that's our biggest regret. That's my biggest regret. Do you know how sick of my mouth last night when we were sitting in the bar? I remember smelling that. Oh. <laughs> Great. 
because you burped after it and then you were like i was just sick of my mouth i was like yeah thanks i can smell it <laughs> <laughs> after about two drinks <laughs> actually i do what's the worst thing you have ever said to a guy in a rage in a rage like in a full state of rage i don't get rages i've never had one that's such a boring answer but i genuinely just i either completely shut down and don't speak and like like go completely brain dead and don't know what to say or anytime i had like i had an ex-boyfriend once that like every single oh. lit so classic so classic for me robin smashed the glass in our room last night and it's still just sitting there smashed it's literally part of the decor it, that's literally so on brand for you anyway this makeup brush just continuously shedding anyway yeah i had an ex once and like every single time we went out he would just like try to have an argument with me and I was just like, you're literally embarrassing me. And I would just walk away because he would do it like in front of people. It's such an ick. That's what my ex did as well. But it's such an ick. Yeah, we'd like, literally be in Australia like on top of the street screaming at each other. It was so bad. Did you ever meet his parents? Yeah. Were they like that? Mm, like screaming at each other? Just like, like, so what I mean by that is my, the ex that I'm talking about, his parents would bicker all the time. And it would make me really uncomfortable, but then they would like start laughing at the end of it. Um, so I was like, that, like that's just, and it wasn't like, it was like really like could be quite hostile like seeming. Do you know what know. I mean? Like, I do get me wrong. I have a wee bicker here and there, but not like to that extent. And I always thought that maybe he just like that's just how he learned how relationships are. Yeah. And maybe that's why I was like that with me, but not for me. In a state of rage, what's the worst thing I've ever said to someone? I'm gonna drink because I didn't have an answer. Yeah, you drink. Um, this is the thing, right? I am like such a big believer in when you have an argument with someone, like you need to. You need, how do I just put this into words? You can't. You, you can't get too it. irate because and start like name calling and stuff because there's actually no coming back from those things. I thought you were gonna say you don't like arguing. No, I'm not a huge arguer, but if someone like if someone rattles me, I can really rise to it, which mm. is why I need someone that's like very calming yeah like know? boyfriend yeah like boyfriend but i used to ha my, like my ex would really like rattle me and really make me like rise to him mm -hmm. and i definitely in those times probably said some really bad things do you think so like personal things not personal but like i definitely scream like you're a massive see you next thursday that's literally fine mm. in my opinion but it's uh only for the girls what <laughs> like, calling boys names yeah it's not great. It's a girl's sport only. Yeah, it's a girl's only sport. It's like cheating. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah Moffat. <laughs> cheating is a girl's sport um, only. Yeah. No, it sounds like we're... We don't condone. Yeah, we don't condone, but also... <laughs> pop off. Pop off if that's... If that's what you want to do. Live your life, eh? Nobody's stopping you. Who am I to tell people what fun is? <laughs> How did you meet your boyfriend? You're gonna have to drink for that one. You don't have a boyfriend. Oh no! I met him on a night out, but I still want to drink. A night out in Belfast. Salut! At the really romantic place of Ulster Sports Club. Love. Yeah, they're so cute. They're the cutest couple on the planet. Thanks. Will he watch this? I don't know. Love you. <laughs> Hopefully he just said his name. It's literally on his Instagram. Oh. Just cut it out. <laughs> Do you call him that? Because whenever you speak to me, you call him that? No, I only call him that when I speak to other people, but him not call him that. Anytime I say his real name, I'm like, ooh, it's weird. You know, imagine I said to his face. Yeah, it'd be funny. It would be right. Surely you did when you first were talking to him? No. I'm such a full name person though. I'm such a nickname person. Mm. I'm such a nickname person. Like, I like my brother is Matthew to me when his friends call him Matt. Matt. I'm like, no, it's Matthew. When it, I love, um, like giving people nicknames as well, but it has to come naturally. Yeah. How much money did you make last month? I don't know. I heard someone ask that. I don't know, but not a lot. Like, I mean, first month. Yeah. Are you gonna make some? I don't guess know. It? No, I'm not gonna guess. I'm gonna drink. Mine wasn't a lot. Uh, if I was to guess, probably like twelve hundred pound. I just do like a little call work from home job at the minute, so that I can travel. But I am gonna make my first million this year, so. She's decided. Yeah. Don't know how. We're gonna figure it that's out. That's what I said. But how are you gonna do that? She goes, that's the next step. Uh, that's the next step. Yeah. We've got the first one. It's fine. Have you ever considered only phones? 
my parents would love that. I said it to my friends. I was visiting my friend who's been living in Barcelona for a while before I came here. And I kept saying to him that I was going to do it like kind of as, well, I say kind of as a joke. But um, I don't he know was, what I can kind of see you doing it. Right. I don't know what that says. Yeah, whenever I go home, like to my hometown, like all of the boys I went to school with, they're like, when are you having the OnlyFans? Yeah, I don't know. What does that mean? I just picture you like traveling and like having an OnlyFans and like just doing like. Listen, I completely read it when people do it, but like I think literally go off, like pop off, but I just think that like if it was to ever, something like that ever got back to my parents, they would never ever speak to me ever again. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like I do really read when people do it. Although I have seen a lot of stuff of like people being like they've done it and then they like make so much money and really really regret it, yeah. Yeah, because they just can't take it down now from the internet. Yeah, and they don't have like, they feel like they don't have like autonomy over their own body and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I think it depends on the type of person you are. Yeah. And the circles that you run in. Yeah. You know I mean, you have to, have, I would say you'd have to have very supportive people around you. What is your worst sexual encounter? This is really trying to me. Are you going to answer that? No. <laughs> This is I also be, can't think of anything. This is going to be such a boring video if we just keep not answering the, the funny questions. I feel like questions. I've been answering quite a lot, no? Maybe not. Let me think about it first because I would say probably most of them. <laughs> I'm not, that's not even a joke as well. No. Wait, please, just... Um, oh, I know what mine is. Can you say it? No. Can you tell me and then take it away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, that's, that's my worst and it wasn't even me. <laughs> I, that, that still haunts me. Yeah, it would, it, it <laughs> I think haunts most it's people. Haunting it is haunting. Whenever you told me, I was like, that's a joke. <laughs> um, I, I, on, like, I'm honestly not even joking when I say most of mine, because if I, like, try to pick out, like, a certain one out of, like, all these different things, I'm, I, like, really can't. Okay. I'm not gonna tell oh, the story. Oh, actually, I'll tell. I'll tell like a slightly funny one. Um, I got back with like one of my ex-boyfriends once. Uh, just like a drunken night, I'd like broken up with my recent boyfriend and like whatever. And like I went home the next day and my nipple piercing was gone. And I like messaged him and I was like, "Is did my nipple piercing come out?" And he was like, "Yeah, I swallowed it." <laughs> okay. But he didn't tell me. <laughs> he didn't tell. On purpose. Me. No, yeah, yeah. but apparently like it just, he swallowed it at the time and then he didn't really know what to say. Oh. There's a way worse things than that have happened, but I would never tell them. I feel like none of mine have, like on my behalf, I've never done anything bad. Other than slightly like morally questionable, but like I don't think I've ever done anything like embar that embarrassing, do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't think can you even do that embarrassing. Well, one girl I know pees herself every time she slept with somebody oh, at uni. Oh god. But like, that. would say that it's not pee. The next day, whenever they would wake up in the bed and it was soaking, she, would, she wouldn't say it was pee. And then another girl that you know told me that she, <laughs> she says that she's gonna be killing me, but she told me that she walked in, into the corner of, was like so drunk and got up and wa walked into the corner of the room and squatted and started taking a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have to be, if, if I did anything like that, that would 100% be the worst really you're, you're either a, pit, a drunk pisser or you're not. Yeah. Oh my word, 100%. Like, it's, it never happens just once. Like, it either happens to you a lot. My friend, um, like, my gay friend that, like, always will, like, spoon me whenever we go out and have a drink and then go to bed, has weed the bed on me twice. That's horrible. In other people's beds. Okay, the next one I saw on the phone there was English or Irish boys. Uh, Irish. Does that count as, like, Catholic as well. What do you mean? Um, or what do you mean by that? Sorry, I just went completely brain dead there. <laughs> it's a very simple question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where does Catholicism play in that? Irish, but like, I actually, I've been saying this recently, and this is like a hot take, but I actually don't really like the, uh, like, most Southern Irish accents. Yeah, but we're, we're talking Irish in general. I do like our accent on guys. I like the Southern accent on guys. And girls. I actually just love this one. There's not. some there's some that I, I like but like most of them I don't. Okay. Well let's not um, but talk I, any more about how much we hate people's accents and let's just answer the question. <laughs> right. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna say Irish because I've never really. I've never participated in English play ever in my life. Yeah, to be honest, when I was saying people in Leeds, it was like an Italian and an Australian. Uh, so, yep, yeah, Irish. Done. Let's see. This is so nice. It's so good. I think we should probably make another one yeah. already on the taxi. Yeah. What's the most expensive thing that you've ever bought? Should I put my set in the camera? No. <laughs> Anything expensive I've never really bought for myself. So not nothing really that expensive to be honest. The most I spent like four hundred and fifty pound in a pair of trainers once. I've never spent more than a hundred pound in a pair of shoes. Yeah, I was, I was literally living in like a uni house and never wore them. What were they? Yeezys. <laughs> Still have them. I should have just drank for that question, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, I never wore them, I sold them. I don't know, I've never bought I never bought a nice are you just going to make them? Yeah, yeah we're, we're just beach, so. yeah, we're right. just being influencers. My dad didn't know what an influencer was. Okay. All right. Yeah, my dad doesn't know what an influencer is, so I was trying to explain to him what Emma does, and he was asking us if we're blogging right now. No, it goes my own TV. Yeah, my own TV. <laughs> and yesterday I asked if we're blogging right now, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Am I gonna be in your? He goes, Am I gonna be in your podcast? My friend, my sister's boyfriend went. So who do you influence? <laughs> I love that question. I was like, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're, <laughs> you're like having an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, I actually, I don't think I can answer that question. Most expensive thing you bought because I genuinely like can't think. Yeah. Of the time I bought something really expensive. It's yeah. Like I've I've probably done like OTG orders for clothes. Yeah, for sure. Like, but I don't like even my nice sunglasses that were present. Like my. I've never like bought the top board like ones. Myself. Yeah, they're so nice. I did. I did buy a pair of Versace sunnies, which were like two hundred and something pound. But I really, really want to buy a pair of Celine sunnies, and I'm like fingers crossed they're going to be on sale in the airport in the way home. But I don't know if they will be. I think they will be. I don't know they are. That will be the most expensive thing I bought. I'm mm -hmm. manifesting it. Weirdest Tinder message you've ever received? Not Tinder, but Hinge. A guy told me that he was wearing a hazmat suit, rubber gloves, and a snorkel. Pretty weird. <laughs> Definitely more. I have 350 hinge notifications at the minute. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really. I haven't been on dating apps in years. Yeah, I hate them. I've like had them since I was single in the past year and literally like not used it for anything. I really despise them. Yeah. They're so sinister. They're very sinister. Okay, I think that's us. We're ready. Well, we're not ready, ready, but our face are. Our face is beat. Looking good. Sort this hair out. I'm really scared. I'm gonna be really bloated. This is always what happens to me on holiday. The second I arrive, I get really bloated, and then I'm just like, don't want even want to put on a bikini. But we are. Yeah, every person in my family, like me and Emma, are in the best state of everyone that's here. Everybody else is literally falling faces. Yeah, everyone is falling faces. So yeah, we're probably all gonna go to the beach club and sit in silence and look at each other. <laughs> It's gonna be really good fun. No, it will. It takes that. It takes my family like three drinks, and then they're really hectic again. Yeah. So it'll be completely it'll be fine. Good. I just hope it's not too posh. I'm posh. No, you're not. Because <laughs> I've never been to beach club. I have this vision of them just being full of like really pretentious posh people. And no. I really don't. I, those vibes are not like that's not what I go on a night out for. That's not what you go on a night out for either. Ocean beach was literally it is very cozy but like there is also a lot of people that are just having like a crack do you know what i mean yeah but like this one might be a bit posier because of like it's not in ibiza where we're going is like a cute little village in spain but it also might just be empty yeah it is a monday fuck it's a monday it's five o'clock summer bitches i'm done actually perfect timing okay Bye, love you lots. Remember to subscribe.